Hello, and welcome to Kiss the Chef. I'm Chef, and today we're joined by a special guest, a friend of mine, Friend. Hi there. Now, Friend, it's my understanding that you've recently become single and you're back on the market, is that correct? Well, I guess. You know. <laughs> and to celebrate this fact, we're gonna go ahead and be making one of my absolute favorite dessert dishes today. Rum balls. You know Wendy died, right? <laughs> I know, but she's dead to me too. Of alcohol poisoning. You know what? Let's uh let's go ahead and get this Debbie Downer out of my kitchen so we can go ahead and start having some fun. And I can get to work making these balls. <sighs> For this recipe especially, it's important that we have all of our ingredients set out in advance. There's a lot of small ingredients and all of them very, very important. First up, you want to make sure that you have a half cup of chopped nuts. Now, you can go ahead and chop these nuts yourself, but make sure they're very, very finely chopped. We're going to want the small nuts to contrast the big size of our big balls. Now, after you're done with your nuts, you're going to want to grab two farm fresh eggs. Now, personally, I use eggs from my backyard where I have my roosters just a like stone's throw away. But you viewers at home are able to grab any sort of eggs from your local grocery store. Yeah. What the hell does she want now? I told her that. Oh. Now we've got our ingredients nice and properly mixed. It's time to add the rum. <laughs> now, make sure at home for the amount of rum that you add that it is a precisely measured half cup of rum, okay? Make sure you don't drink it all. <laughs> Mazel tov. Now. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you really, really evenly mix all of that rum in with the corn syrup, okay? We wanna make sure that we're achieving a nice, smooth consistency, but with just a little bit of a kick. Now, once we have all this nice and evenly mixed, is when we're gonna be able to go ahead and take our dough and roll it all into balls. <laughs> roll! <laughs> when we get our dough, rolled into these little balls. It's gonna be important that we roll them in our confectioner's sugar. Now, for today, because it's a special occasion, I went ahead and got my own little special confectioner's sugar, but for you viewers at home, you're gonna be fine with going to the grocery store and getting any sort of expensive brand confectioner's sugar. It's a rum ball. <laughs> so, once we've finished uh, rolling our little balls in our special confectioner's sugar, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that they stay sealed. And then we put them away in the fridge so they can rest for a little bit and cool off. <laughs> now, to be sure that our rum balls are staying for the perfect amount of time in the fridge, we're gonna go ahead and set a timer for them. Um, Set a uh, set a timer for three days. Three days. We can't we can't do three days. I don't have time for three days. Three minutes. Three minutes. We're doing three minutes. Hey, get my friend in here. Yeah.
Oh, wow. Done already. Let's go take a look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Why don't you try one? These don't look done at all. Nonsense, nonsense. Let me try one. Deliciously smooth. Hey, no, don't do that. You, you gotta eat it whole. Don't rip it apart. You have to eat it whole. Jesus! <coughs> what? Deliciously smooth. <laughs>